What is up, people of YouTube? This is Prolix Enigma here, and um, I've got a video to bring to you guys, and it's just kind of something that's been on my mind, something I've been thinking of. You know how that usually goes. Uh, this is a commentary. This isn't anything competitive. This isn't a review, um, any news about the team. This is just me and my feelings. So today is Friday, or technically it's Saturday because it's 1 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this. But yesterday, well, Thursday... Um, we had somebody at our school pass away. Now, the person who was at our school, he was a very, very famous, I, I don't want to say famous, but he was very well known throughout the community. Um, and he made a mark. He had been teaching at the school for a very long time. He was a science teacher and, um, everybody respected him and he passed away and he came in to sub for another teacher and he passed away in the hallway. Uh, I don't really know the specific causes of his death, but I do know that he wouldn't have wanted to die anyplace else. You're probably wondering if you're watching this video, why am I telling you this? Well, it just makes me want to, it, it made me think about life as a whole. It made me think about how you could either go through life being in multiple places at once, and then once you pass away, only your family, the ones around you, really, really feel the damage and realize how great of a person you were and the, the great things you did. Um, or you can, make a, you can make a name for yourself. You can find a place. You can you know, build up what you want to become. Build up who you want to be known as. Help as many people as you can. Um, just be there for anybody and live a life that's worth living. And that can be used in several different ways. You know, a life worth living doesn't mean you have to be rich. It doesn't mean you have to have all the money in the world and all the fancy cars and all the girls and everything else, all the guys, you know, whatever sex you are. Um, but just happiness in general. Um, I was told by another teacher today that happiness can come in several different forms. You know, you can work at a fast food restaurant your entire life and live happy as long as you have that freedom, that freedom to do what you want and everything else. A lot of people get this concept that happiness is based off of money and what you have. Um, but I'm not going to go on that cheesy spiel about how happiness is your family. Happiness is who is around you. Happiness is what you make. It. Happiness is what you can do that you enjoy to get out of it. And if your joy is having as much money as you can, you're not thinking well enough. There is something else that you enjoy that does not require all the money in the world. Um, I guess that's kind of hard for me to say because, you know, video games and what I do, which is YouTube and competitive gaming and everything else, requires lots and lots of time and lots and lots of money, but I love it. I love it to death and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Um, you know, will I always stay in competitive Call of Duty? Will I always stay in competitive gaming? Probably not, but I, you know, eventually I'll slide into just doing YouTube. I don't see myself ever leaving YouTube unless it's a forced thing, whether I make money on it or I don't make money on it. I don't see myself ever leaving it. Um... Uh, so this is just kind of where I stand. It's sucky. It's really sad. Uh, but he had been teaching there for several years. And all the kids loved him. All the things on Facebook that I saw. And it, it was really sad. He teached me for one year and a lot of my relatives for several of their high school years. And so it just really made me think that I want to be that guy that is known by, or not not known, that's coming off wrong, but like, I, I want to be in a similar, similar position as him when I go. I want people to be like, he was, a, he was a really, really good guy. He did this, 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 and this. He accomplished what he wanted. He lived his life to the fullest, even though it might not have been, you know, all the money. It might not have been all the, the, the riches and jewels and, you know, all, the, all that stuff. He had fun with his life. He did the things that he wanted to do, even if they were crazy off the wall and nobody agreed with him. And he still got the job done. You know, I don't even have to inspire people. But as long as I do something that other people look at as, you know, he really did enjoy his life. He really did do everything that he possibly could have wanted to do. I'll be okay with that. So it just really comes down to what is your self-worth? What is your idea of happiness? And that's just kind of, you know, that's just kind of where it ends. 
So I want you guys to think about what I just talked about in this video. And I want you guys to figure out what your sense of happiness is, what your self-worth is, what you want to go out as. Um, you might want to go out as, I don't know, a criminal or a stripper or something. I don't, I don't know. Whatever your guys' life goals are, please leave a comment down below telling me. Uh, like, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Um, follow me on Twitter. Links will be in the description. And I, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was different. I haven't really done a commentary like this in a while. I will have some more videos coming up soon. The video you will see on the screen will be the last video that I made. And deuces.